Dorothy said it best. There's no place like home. You can't see Dave Twardzik's ruby red slippers clicking back and forth. But, boy, it was good to be back at Chartway Arena for the ODU men's basketball team. Yeah, it really was. It was a game that uh, I don't know if many people expected it to be this way. But I was very impressed with Longwood, especially on the defensive end. They did a fabulous job. Third time the Lancers and the Monarchs have hooked up on the basketball floor, and today was the best game of them all. Starts out, Dave, in the, in the first half, Longwood playing a lot of guys, being really energetic, playing some good defense and taking a double-digit lead. Yeah, double-digit. I think they went on a 17-2 run at one point, and we were fortunate. We ended up changing up our defenses, going to the zone late in the first half. We ended up going on a 14-1 run of our own. Well, the thing is you want to chip away at those big leads before halftime, and the Monarchs pulled within one at the intermission. Yeah, we often talk about how important the end of a half is in the beginning of the second half. We went in with momentum, and we came out in the second half. But Longwood matched our intensity. Second half was a dog fight. It was a dog fight and a battle on the boards and really every possession. Makai Long leads the Monarchs. He had 18 points, and maybe you found some confidence with those baseline jumpers. Boy, he hit a huge baseline jumper. But Makai plays with a lot of confidence, and he does so many things. He Probably his strength is on the defensive end because he can guard so many different players. Longwood hits two free throws with nine seconds to go to take a 61-60 lead. And the Monarchs, with those nine seconds, Took about 8.8 of them to get a Jalen Hunter assist to Makai Long to win it. Well, before the ball was in play, we talked about how long nine seconds is. That's a wealth of time on the floor, even if you're going 90 feet. Jalen Hunter, to his credit, instead of trying to force something because it was a double bonus at that time, played under control, and Makai, at the last second, flashes to an open spot. Great delivery from Jalen. They reviewed it. It was good. And it's even better now. 62-61 <laughs> the final. Oldman in defeats Longwood. Huge win for this team to break the three-game losing streak. Yeah, and this is something you want to build on. You're playing East Carolina again. You're familiar with them because they beat us down in Myrtle Beach. There will be a lot of film and some adjustments made. Monarchs go to 3-4 and four in the season. As Dave mentioned, it's off to Greenville for ECU on Tuesday. For the Hall of Famer Dave Tworzik, I'm Ted Alexander for Monarch Media.